Okay, so color OS on OnePlus 8 series devices. And well, I have been using it for a couple of weeks now. And first up, as I said already, this is an alpha build. So you can expect bugs, but thankfully and surprisingly, the list has been smaller than what I expected. And in real world usage, even lesser than what I experienced with Oxygen OS 11. Though mind you, I am still on the stock Android side of things, but this alternative makes the experience somewhat better. First up, right from the boot animation, you get this new OnePlus boot logo, which I am not a fan of, but okay. Moving further, there is a lot of bloatware inside this Color OS 11. So I had to remove quite a lot of things, and the home screen and UI here is not a lot different from Oxygen OS. By default, the app drawer is disabled, but you can enable it in launcher settings. And though I did not expect it to be this good, well it is. The animations feel a lot smoother and well defined. Plus the dark mode which is now grey on Oxygen OS sadly, well it is totally pitch black on this one. And it wasn't hard to implement, but it just looks great overall and reduces the purple fringing that we see on Oxygen OS here and there. So you get the idea right? This minor stuff was missing from Oxygen OS since the Oxygen OS 11 update came. Also the Google feed is missing from this China only alpha build, so keep that in mind as well. Ah, and some of you must be wondering about auto call recording and other Google apps, right? Well, you don't need to worry as it comes inbuilt with its own dialer app that has auto call recording and it records each and every call without shouting anything. So you don't even need OnePlus dialer, contacts and so on because whatever you need, it's right there on your device now. And I like the fact that you don't have to make any efforts to have those. It's just right there on your device and many of you will appreciate the same. Next up, well the camera application is similar to what we get with Oxygen OS. So exact same UI and the way it works is also similar with decent output. Just the way it used to be. Some issues that were there like discoloration on 2x mode, well that is also there. And here are some quick samples just for your reference. Now jumping into the settings directly and the UI here is well a lot like what we used to have with Oxygen OS 10. So I like that one and I kind of feel similar about this one as well. Next up in the Wi-Fi settings we have this dual Wi-Fi acceleration mode and this can use both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band at the same time to speed up your tasks and it supports quite a few applications that we normally use. So a handy feature in case you face network dropouts. In the personalized part, well, there is a lot of stuff that you can tweak on your device. From a dedicated theme store that is in Chinese, to various always on display themes that look really good and has MIUI vibes to it. But the options that you get, well, I like the way things are neatly arranged and the level of customization it offers. Well, that is a lot and I'll leave it up to you guys to explore all of that. You also get a neat one-handed mode that works really well and brings up all the icons at one single place. Along with that, we get a lot of multitasking tools like this sidebar that can open any of your applications with just one click from anywhere. And this helps in quick switching between the applications. You also get bubble support for all the apps, be it WhatsApp or Telegram. And there is also a mini window option to help you in multitasking and all these features combined can be really helpful. You also get fast face unlock and fingerprint scanner also works like a charm on this one. And it also has some really neat animations to choose from. And I like these tiny features to be honest. Next up in the convenience tool, you get a lot of customizations to choose from. Like the screenshot gestures, off screen gestures screenshot controls and a lot more. There is also an iPhone like assistive ball feature that can help you in doing many of the multitasking actions and it really helps sometimes. You can also customize your quick launch applications and set it to anything you like which is awesome and really handy at the same time. And in the similar way you get a lot of other features to choose from like the scenario based enhancements in Dolby Atmos and other stuff. So feel free to explore even more. So in the number of features, it is hard to say that something has been left out of this color OS 11. And if you like custom UIs, 
well this is really good though i still wish oxygen os was better optimized but that's how it is next up in the performance aspect well on the geekbench the device scores 921 in single core and 3188 in the multi core score and on oxygen os the device never scored more than 897 898 in the single core score so this is a good thing and better at least on paper but if i say on day to day tasks well it has been fine for me and there were no app crashes or random bugs here and there all the apps ran like a champ on this color os and the ui and animations have been really smooth too and all that was really unexpected to be honest the casual games and everything was fine too for an alpha build but i do see some scope in multitasking performance improvement You even get this gaming assistant that has everything from an FPS counter to CPU usage stats and even a pro gaming mode along with the voice changer and screen recording too. So everything you ever wanted is available here and I hope you really like all the features that are given. The battery life has also been really nice for me even with heavy usage. So I could manage decent screen on times on an average and i got somewhere between 6.5 to 7 hours of screen on time on a single charge at 120 hertz mode all the time so i don't have any complaints though i do feel that the standby rain can be improved somewhat rest even the charging time is good enough and around 45 minutes from 0 to 100% and there are no issues whatsoever but some unnecessary stuff like applications and bloatware are there and no ota support can be a deal breaker for some so should you flash and try this one well first up i did not expect it to feel this smooth and issue free and i tried it majorly because i was fed up of the new and annoying bugs in oxygen os 11 with every update though i would have preferred oxygen os over color os but now that ui is really close and even well optimized I found no issues in using this one and if you are fed up of those issues on your device well then feel free to try this or else you can wait for a beta version of this color os as that might have an ota support too who knows and if you just don't care about patches and stuff well feel free to try this one so that was pretty much it about color os on the OnePlus 8 series devices and i do hope OnePlus will learn something from their own color os and improve oxygen os to an extent else well we might have to stay with this or custom rooms anyways if you end up liking this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that like button while you are at it so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one